Thank you for purchasing a swim spa or hot tub from Prestige Pools and Spas. Uh, in this video, we are going to go over water chemistry, the how and the why you need to take care of the water in your spa. Do we have to take care of the water in our spa? Well, first off, it's for bather safety. Um, it also protects the equipment and the functionality of your spa and how long your hot tub is going to last. Improper water balance will cause premature failure of components of your spa, as well as can be unhealthy for bathers to climb into uh, a murky or, or bacteria filled spa. So we want to make sure that we keep on top of our, our spa water chemistry to the best of our ability. Obviously nobody's perfect. If things go off, there's a way to fix it. It's not a big deal. Uh, so don't stress it too much, but we want to teach you the best that we can on how to take care of the water chemistry in your hot tub. And this is going to go over how. So what are the things that you're going to need to take care of your spa and what levels should be, should all your chemistry be at? Uh, so the basic things that you're going to need is a pH rise and minus, uh, an alkalinity rise or minus. And just in case you didn't know that the pH lower is the same chemical as alkalinity lower. So you'll notice that you only have a pH lower in your startup kit. Uh, that's because alkalinity minus and pH minus are the same chemical. Um, there are two separates to go up, there's one to go down. You are going to have some sort of chlorine or sanitizer for your spa. So if you're using standard chlorine, you wanna be between one and four parts per million. Um, if you're using a Nature 2 or the Addy system, obviously your chlorine level is gonna to be totally different because because these are to try and avoid chlorine as much as possible. Uh, your pH ideal level um, being 7.6, but the acceptable range is 7.4 to 7.8. Uh, the alkalinity needs to be between 80 and 120 parts per million. And your calcium hardness preferably needs to be between 150 and 250 parts per million. Um, these numbers are all set forth by the APSP and the guidelines for keeping their spa clean and clear. Um, we will be going over pH, alkalinity, and your sanitizer in, in the next slides. Sanitizers. Um, we almost all use some sort of sanitizer in our daily life, whether that be hand soap, uh, shampoo, uh, hand sanitizers, anything that kills bacteria is considered a sanitizer. Obviously, we want your hot tub to stay nice and clean and bacteria free, so we use sanitizers in there, whether it's chlorine, bromine, Nature 2, or our most popular one is the Addy system. So why is the Addy system better? What makes it so much better than a standard chlorine or bromine system? Well, first off, the, the Addy system generates a smart form of chlorine um, that doesn't require as much maintenance as any other spa sanitizer in the, in, the, in the market, which is why everybody likes it. It also has a lower level of chlorine in the water that's active. Um, so this gives you less of that smell and less of that feel on your skin. Um, also, you know, makes bathing a little more enjoyable, won't dry your skin out as much. So your chlorine level in a, ran in a regular spa will be between 1.0 and 4.0 um, with tap water having actually a chlorine level of right around 1.5. Um, the Addy system works in conjunction with silver uh, or their frog mineral system, uh, which also kills bacteria. So your chlorine level only has to be kept at a 0.5 to a 1.0. So this is much lower than the chlorine that's in your standard tap water that you take a shower with every day. Um, we do like to have a reminder out there because the, the Addy's inline system can be a little confusing that if you've got the inline system, the blue stick should be fully open or set to six and changed every four months. For both uh, the floating system or the inline system, um, it's going to be based on gallonage, but I've found that most of the spas that we sell, uh, setting it to a two is the perfect amount, um, and that gray stick will last you approximately three to four weeks, depending on how much you use it. Uh, once that runs out, if you have the floating system, the ball will flip over to let you know that it's empty. Um, in the inline system, you'll use your test strip, and the test strip will show, you know, the top pad will have not a green color anymore 
anymore. It will not really change any color. And that tells me that that gray stick is worn out. Uh, so make sure that you keep up with those. Um, if you go on vacation um, and you're not sure whether or not the system is going to run out, it might just be easier to slap a new one in before you go. Uh, that way you just don't have you have the peace of mind. You don't have to worry about it. You can always put the other one back in when you get back and finish it off. Uh, so there's a little couple of tricks with that Addy system so that you don't have to come back to a mess in your hot tub and it's easy to take care of. So what is pH? Um, pH, if you ever had a chemistry class, you might know that the, that has to deal with how acidic or how alkaline something is. Going too far in one direction to the other, obviously, is very, very harmful to the spa equipment and the plumbing. Um, it will eat away at that equipment, the plumbing, the shell, um, just in general, not good to go too far to the scale one or the other. Uh, the other reason that we keep our pH right around a 7.6 is that's the pH of our eyeballs. So the human eyeball has a uh, pH of 7.6, and that makes it so that if you get the water in your eyes, it doesn't um, burn or sting. Uh, the red irritated eyes usually will happen when your pH is out of balance. The last thing that pH does is it also makes your sanitizer work more effectively. So if you're at a pH level of 8.0, your chlorine is only 22% effective. That means you've lost 78% of the chlorine's ability to do its job, which means that's not good. We want to keep our water clean and clear. Um, so keeping your pH in line is very important. A lot of people will sometimes say like, hey, I looked at my hot tub and the water was clean and clear and I thought everything was okay. That may not necessarily be true. So, you know, test your spa once a week. Um, just keep up with that pH, that alkalinity and your sanitizer and it will be real simple sailing to take care of your hot tub. Alkalinity is the next thing that we're going to go over, and alkalinity acts like a buffer for your pH. So your pH will tend to want to fluctuate up or down depending on use of the spa um, and how many bathers you have in there. Keeping your alkalinity in line helps keep that fluctuation to a minimum on the pH scale. And we previously talked about pH being very important for both your sanitizer and your spa. So again, a lot of times people will say, well, I looked at my spa water and it looked clean and clear. Um, and so everything's okay, right? No, not necessarily. So we want to make sure that we keep um, our alkalinity in line, which will protect our pH from changing, which will keep our chlorine working or our sanitizer working uh, most effectively, therefore keeping the spa clean. Now, if you test your spa and your pH is either high or low or your alkalinity is high or low, you're always going to want to bring whichever one is up higher down first and then readjust the other one up. And again, that goes back to one of the first slides where we talked about uh, there not being an alkalinity minus. There's pH lower and that is the same product or lower both alkalinity. So if you try and raise it and then lower it, you're constantly fighting a never ending battle. So you obviously want to bring the high one down first and then bring the low one back up um, or if they're both high then no big deal you put it in just a lower and it should fix both of them so in this slide we're going to be talking about uh, helper chemicals uh, such products like control freshen or majestic blue and even uh, foam away um, the uh, first product that we're going to talk about is control control is a stain and scale or metal remover um, gets the hardness out of the water um, so if you live in an area that you have uh, real hard water or if you're on a well, well is notoriously for uh, no, uh, for having lots of minerals and, and metals in the water. Um, this is hard on the spa surfaces, this is hard on your equipment, so it's not good. It also makes it so that your sanitizer doesn't work to its full potential. Um, so if you live in an area where you have hard water, using a little bit of our product called Control, there's other names for it on the market. Uh, when you first fill the spa, we'll also we'll make taking care of the spa and balancing the water a lot easier. The next product is Freshen. Freshen is an all-natural enzyme. It goes by several names on the market as well. Um, this all-natural enzyme is great for digesting um, oils, lotions, hair products that may get into the water. Um, the product will actually dissolve the oils and convert them into water, uh, into H2O itself. So um, using a little bit of this, if you had somebody that maybe was just uh, sun tanning and climbed into your hot tub and you may notice a little oil sheet, a little, a little bit of this will help a long way. Uh, also, if you notice a little bit of kind of like a shininess to the surface of the water um, and you're getting a lot of foaming issues, that's usually due to an oil and freshen can help with that. Uh, the last product that we have on this page is the Majestic Blue Clarifier. 
it's kind of a jack of all trades master of none um, it does a little bit of fresh and it does a little bit of the control it does a little bit of a uh, filter boost uh, causing your filter to pick up some finer particulate so using majestic blue or a clarifier once a week uh, to help keep the water uh, sparkling clear, that giving you that, that real crystal crystal clear look that you can see all the way to the bottom without, you know, any hindrance, um, that can go a long way. So I'm going to go over real briefly on this slide what algae is. Um, we've all seen algae. Algae grows in rivers, lakes, streams, creeks, oceans. Um, can be brought in from several spores, uh, several sources. Uh, algae is an airborne spore. Um, so it can be blown in by a wind or a rainstorm. It's more common to see algae in a pool than it is in a hot tub, uh, mostly because the hot tub spends a lot of life covered. But if somebody was just uh, at the beach and decided to climb into your hot tub, they could introduce some algae spores. Um, keeping your sanitizer at a appropriate level and your pH and alkalinity in line should keep any algae from wanting to bloom in your spa. Obviously, if you see some, a heavy dose of chlorine is a great way to just kill it and get rid of it. You don't necessarily have to drain the spa completely and refill it. A real good heavy dose of chlorine will, will stop algae. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is total hardness. Total hardness is how much calcium or magnesium is in, in the water. Uh, this comes naturally from your water source, uh, whether you're on city water, well water, um, you know, it, it's just inherent in water. Um, so you may have certain amounts. Um, some people, most of the time, people that use regular tap water or city water never have any problems with their total hardness because the, the, the water treatment facilities take care of the hardness. If you're on a well, you may have to do some adjusting, whether it's up or down uh, on your hardness, and there are products out there for that. So we're getting near the very end here. A um, couple of this is going to the next few slides are going to be kind of just reminder thoughts, things that you should keep in mind. Um, first, test your spa water regularly. Uh, you can't let it sit for two, three weeks at a time and not check on it. Um, the the chemistry can make adjustments on its own depending on use um, or whether or not your sanitizer is there. You're always wanting to monitor your sanitizer and make sure it's taken care of. Um, so if you test your spa once a week, um, it's not anything that you have to like be on every day. Just once a week is usually good enough. Just go out, take your test strip, dip it in, measure your chart, see how how it's looking, making the adjustments if needed. Uh, next thing that uh, I want you to want you to remember is that you should take your filters out once a month and rinse them out with the garden hose. What we're doing here is we're just getting the big debris that gets caught in between the pleats here filters. Um, we want to get that stuff out because your sanitizer will work on any sort of biomatter. So if there's stuff trapped in the filters, it'll spend a lot of time trying to clean what's in the filters rather than cleaning the water in your spa. Um, the next thing that I like to remind people, and a lot of people don't necessarily do this, is every four months you have to drain and refill your spa. And when you do that, that's the perfect time to soak your filters in a cartridge cleaning solution. Um, and th what this does is it removes the oils and the stuff that can get stuck inside the fibers that rinsing out doesn't necessarily get out. The cartridge cleaning solution uh, is safe for... Uh, using the clean cartridges, when you're done, you rinse them off really good. They come out, that stuff comes right out. Uh, obviously, please don't use any soaps or, or detergents or anything like that, um, as those will get trapped in your filter and you will have a foaming nightmare for as long as those filters are in that hot tub. Um, another thing that you would like to do when you do your drain and fill is use a spa purge product. A lot of people don't realize that those hoses and plumbing uh, that run around the inside of your spa and feed all the water to all those jets and and uh, controls that you have um, and water features, they will build up a biofilm in there. Um, biofilms just, again, lotions, oils, skin, you know, that may come off and it just kind of gets trapped and bacteria feeds on that. So if you use a spa purge, it's kind of like a rotor rooter, cleans out the plumbing every time you drain and refill your spa. Also, um, you want to make sure that you take care of your spa cover. Now, spa covers uh, can be a little pricey and they don't last super long. Um, the average spa cover is only going to last you four to six years. So if you use a product, uh, the product that we particularly use is 303 Protectant, to clean your spa cover every four months and treat it, uh, that will protect the vinyl and make your cover last a lot longer. Obviously, we don't want to be spending uh, money, you know, 
as often on our spa as possible. We want to just enjoy it and not have to pay for it a whole lot. Uh, and the last part is to check your water chemistry and your water level weekly. Also make sure that your water stays topped off. If the water level gets too low, the spa will cavitate or surge and you'll get errors like low flow or heat or dry. Um, you'll notice that the water clarity goes down because it can no longer filter. So make sure you take care of those items. So these are our final thoughts. Um, this is the end of the video. Um, the, your swim spa, your hot tub, it's supposed to be a source of fun. Don't stress over it. It's not, there's nothing that, that you can do to this hot tub short of throwing it off of a cliff uh, that you can't kind of repair when it comes to water chemistry or damage to a piece of equipment or a piece of equipment failing. Um, if you check on your spa once a week um, and you're maintaining or monitoring your water chemistry and your water level, the spa will last you a very long time. Uh, the, all the spas that we carry are a high quality spa. You should easily get between 12 and 18 years out of your spa, just really kind of dependent on how often you use it. Um, next thing that I always suggest to do is just have a day, pick a day that like Sunday morning, you know, you're gonna go out, you're gonna do your kind of like maybe your maintenance on your spa, check your water chemistry, make sure that the, the sanitizer levels are all right, make sure that the water level's correct, make sure that the water's clean and clear. You know, um, if it's once a month, take those filters out, just give them a good rinse out. Um, the next thing that I kind of want to talk about is if you ever have a heavy bather load, it doesn't matter what spa sanitizing system you're using, you're going to want to shock. So if you throw a party, your kids have friends over, you know, you have a, a big gathering and a lot of people are using that hot tub, little non-chlorine shock thrown in the spa after, after everybody is all said and done will help keep, keep take care of that extra heavy load. Um, also, I've talked about it before, um, just because the water's clean and clear, don't open your lid and look at the water and say, hey, look, it's clean and clear, um, does not necessarily mean that the spa water is in good shape. So make sure you test your spa. Last thing I'm putting up here is a little link to uh, Frog Water Products, the company that um, makes the at ease system. They've got a spa school on their website that goes over a lot of the questions that you may run into. It's very informative. Uh, link is right there. You can click on it. You can go to it. I'll have it in the subheader for the video. Um, so if you need it, go to it. It may answer some questions in case we're not here. Um, also, we offer free water analysis. You bring me a little eight ounce bottle of water, um, preferably as fresh as possible. Don't leave it out in your car on a hot sunny day. That's going to change the water chemistry. Uh, we analyze it. Absolutely no charge. Um, if there's any adjustments that need to be made, we give you a printout. That printout will in turn have everything written on it that you needed. Um, or if you're really stumped or, you know, just a little lost, we have our, our email addresses, water at prestigepoolsandspas.com. And as soon as somebody sees it, they can answer it. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to call our store at any time at 314-821-6660. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy your new hot tub.